Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 19 here on Madison Creek 19. Your host, well not, the, well not the most, Mr. Blue, a.k.a. Tommy Miller. Folks, how y'all doing today? Happy late New Year's. I uh, hope y'all had a good one. And of course, I hope Christmas and stuff was good. And I just want to take the, a moment here, just real quick to say that I love and appreciate and thank you for all your support on the last video I made. Uh, Tommy's new room. It, it's doing good, folks. I really appreciate the, all the views and likes and comments and stuff on that. It's awesome. Now, to finish, uh, I mean, not to finish, uh, to, to further ado, you know, let's, let's get into farming, right? Been a little bit. All right, um, let's go in this dreaded menu that everybody hates. I'm going to go up here. Y'all probably know, you know, four is laid out, ain't nothing planted in it. And three has, uh, um, canola. Three and one has canola. Nineteen and eighteen has wheat. Don't pay no attention to 9, 10, 12, 15, and, and 23, 24, 26. All those are contracts that I've done, folks. And that's what we're fixing to do here in a second. But I want to show y'all something. Right down here. As you can see right here, this strip I've done has been plowed. This has got trees on it right through here. We're going to get these trees out here. Combine this, and then we're, of course, going to combine this. Um, we're going to stop our field probably right somewhere in here. And it'll be uh, 43. Actually, it be 543 because we're going to combine five. It's going to be a long field. And uh, field one is still going to be field one, but we're going to cut, we're going to make a turn road right through here and separate those that's my plan for now now as you can see over here i've been doing some plowing and it needs lime folks behind it so we got to do that but the rain put a damper on it because i do have the oh why can't you think what it's called but anyway let's get let's get in here um y'all probably wondering why i got eight hundred twenty-five thousand two hundred seventy-two. And we're on a whole um, almost 1.5 million. Um, let's go down here to uh, what is that? Harvest income for uh, you can see that was yesterday, uh, and this here, I don't understand that. That sold vehicles or something. Anyway, I don't know what other is. We got 160 there, so and it took away 8,000 there. But anyway, we're gonna go up here because I got a bunch of contracts I need to. Y'all hear that? There's something wrong with this uh, th thing I got. It's for better uh, contracts. It's, you can refresh them. But anyway, I got two fields here. Field 27 sowing. That's with corn. I want to do that, but I can't right now. I think it's because I got too many. Because folks, just take a close look here. Me scrolling through. How many contracts I already completed fertilizing? It's a lot. So I'm thinking that might have something to do with it. Uh, we're going to hope so. We're going to start accepting these contracts, or finalizing these contracts, I should say. Uh, started yesterday on them all day long with, uh, what is it, three machines running? 
I had the liquid sprayer, I had the dry fur, and I had the, the 4840, I believe, on the other dry fur, you know, the spray and fertilize for these folks. But here we go, uh, field seven. Y'all can take a look at it as I go. I'm going to collect it. Field eight. Field 15. 64,000. Woohoo! Field 10. 28,000. Field 12, 59,000. And here, field 9 is 101,000, folks. But of course, it did take some fertilizer, so, you know. So some of these help. And I completed some of these, too. Yeah, because I had to in order to buy fertilizer because we're running low money there for a little bit. But not really, but, you know. The wood sale, maybe, I, well, we have to go back in there. The wood sales helped me out a lot. All right, I'm just doing these real slow. I'm going to let y'all look at them. Not too slow because you can pause if you need to actually see it. I, I'm just wanting to get this done and uh, fast forward to the rain. Uh, so we can get back busy farming. But this, this, uh, what is it, first day? This first or second? I can't remember, folks. I gotta do one thing at a time. Alright, we're starting to get down to... The nitty gritty here. All right, that is all of the uh, fertilizing. And as you can see here, I got field 11. I couldn't fertilize it. So we're going to sip that and try it again. And let's see if we got any more down through here. I like just sowing and cultivating. We can't do no cultivating until after uh it stops raining so I'm gonna hold off on some of them and let's go back up here to the ones I have got uh, we need to get a thing on field 11 when it stops raining but anyway let's go back in here um well we're at 1.6 with all that other let's see contracts income right here is seven hundred ninety nine thousand five hundred and twenty three dollars from contracts folks that's where the money is and we still got a lot to do but um, I'm going to get out of the screen here we're going to do a couple of fly rounds here to show y'all come on it's laggy because it's rain I hope that's what it is but here's the shop area there's the cows I'll tell y'all about that too this mostly going to be a telling video. But I made a strip around. So uh, combines will have a clear way when they start doing the canola and wheat. And you can see right in here I got some trees cleared. Working up over there. Sounds like my neighbor's done something outside there. If y'all hear any noise that's going to be him or her. But that down here started plowing I have from field five at the far end all the way down here to here I've uh, have a straight line I gotta redo this part here got over too far but all that is a straight line and when we get this field harvest I'm gonna do the rest of this because I'm really too close to the trees on that so I'm gonna roll some of that back in it's going down here. That's her field three right there. I'm sorry about that. I got a uh, text. Uh, but that's field three and that's field four. And you see how much here we were trees and stuff done. Oh, I got a little spot right there I have to do. Um, but yeah, we're just going to bring field four on up here. And we're going to chop it off somewhere wrong in here with a turn road going down to here. And then, uh, yeah, we'll separate it that way, folks. 
Um, let's go on up here and go across the road. All right, we're here in the southeast grasslands field, that I call it. Uh, one I was showing you that was needing the lime. Um, we got some tractors down here doing some plowing. And, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, yeah, check them out, folks. Freshly off the press, well, not quite. They are a little muddy. Had to had to stop plowing because of the rain and stuff. But that mod I got, it it really makes it hard for them to pull. They start spinning and stuff. But this is uh the ninety six twenty RX. And I think I'm not for sure. Let me go into the store real quick. Um, and see, I think those are the custom modern tractors. Actually, let's do it this way. Let's go in the garage. All right. These are Unifer, uh, 16 row strip till, uh, John Deere 1725, uh, watch mods on Facebook. We got two of them. Those are going to be our corn and cotton planters and probably, uh, sugar beets, maybe. Uh, but I did get two of them. And this one here, I don't know, price drop, I guess, because I took it out in the field a little bit there. But anyway, we're going to get on over. Now, let's just go through our tractors here real quick. All right. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, nine tractors there. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15 we have 15 tractors and yes the, these two uh bulls here horses they are powerful or custom moderns tractors the 9620rx and um let's see if we can uh i ended up getting another one of the 410 so we got two of the track ones and we got two of the wheeled ones and we got two of the seminars, so we are doing pretty good, folks. Uh, I'll show you all that here in a minute. Uh, some things we're going to sell. And just let me go through here and see what all I got. I got a lot of these trailers. Um, yeah, you can see what we got there. Here's the plows they're pulling behind the John Deere 2410 plows. Um, they are 12 meters, but of course, we're calling them. 12.4 so i really don't know 200 horsepower to pull them so our eight r's can pull them with no problem probably our uh seven r's could pull them uh we do have that and i think we're going um this is a cultivator and these two here are plows so uh yeah that is a cultivator I like having our disc for uh, cultivators, so we might let this go back and get another disc or two. I just like the way they do the, the ground. Um, of course, this is our planter here that we got, but we're going to be letting it go back and getting two of the custom modern uh, planters that they got coming out, uh, which they are out. I have them. Uh, here's our Kim, Kim Farm Tanks. Um can't remember who those are by uh we also got the 2510 h that came out and it's lime and dry fertilizer but it's for strip till ground so that's be for uh, cotton and stuff and pretty much everything else we still got uh some of this stuff will be going back uh some won't stuff like this here will probably be going back um, go ahead and go through here real fast so y'all can see some of the stuff we got. The U blade will probably keep it, but we have to. It's going to have to be a front end loader that goes on it. I made a mistake and got the wrong one, um, but yeah, it, it works. But there's our uh, my cow pasture that we got down here on the grasslands. Uh, in the sheds and stuff and all that, you'll see all that. You can just pause to look at them and we got three of these workstations now so 
but yeah, that's some of the stuff we got, folks. And um, since we're here, we're going to go on over. I'm trying not to bore y'all too much on this. There's our other one, the twin. And as you can see, this is a big, big area that we got to get worked up. And what we're working up for is so we can fertilize it. Because with just regular grass, you, you can just mow it. Uh oh Just mow it. But if you till the ground up, flat, plow it, and then plant grass, you can be able to fertilize it twice instead of just once. But I want to show y'all something over here. There's two tree stumps you see right here. If I cut either one of those trees, my game will freeze. Any of y'all out there, modders or whatever, if you watch my channel, can y'all help me out on that? I mean, either one. I like never got them cut down. But as far as stump grinding them, anything I stump grind them with, it will freeze the game. I mean, it just completely it'll freeze it and then it'll go completely out i mean it shut the game off all right but as you can see i kind of went around the uh cows here the other end up there might have some silos or something but so far we are getting oh, wrong button we are getting some manure there And I bought a uh, straw blower because right here it takes loose straw and uh, not bale straw. So, yeah, we had to have a, a, a bale shredder for that. Uh, here's the water. Let me come on down from flying here. Let's hit J. And. Uh, and I'll tell you what I did on the cows here in just a second, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm just going to explain this milk thing here uh, real quick. Then we'll probably end the video. Um, what I done was I took five cows, and because there's a uh, where we're at right now is my cow pasture. And I took five cows from the farm shop uh, cow pen and put down here. And then I bought 15 more. So it was 20 cows. So five of them from her farm. And the 15 of them was bought brand new. And they already, one of those five already had an offspring in here somewhere. Probably right there, 89, pound, ugh, 89 pounds uh, newborn. So that's what I did there. And this cattle east is done the same way. But they had, the, the five that I bought from the farm shop didn't have a, a youngin' yet. And I tried to look through there and make sure that it was the older ones. And it said that, you know... Uh, next animal in like 0 0.1 years. Try to get the ones that was the, the least amount that was ready to go and bring to these two right here. And this here is our farm shop area. And as you can see, we got 116 liters at that, at this in here. And then here we got 919, and then our south uh, by the farm shop is 2,334 liters of milk already. And look at our slurry too. So, um, and what I did here, you know, I basically took away 10 cows from the farm, five here and five here. So what I done was put 15 here. 15 here and then 10 here to replace 
where they all be pretty much at the same. But what I'm going to do is with some of this other money, I'm going to bring all three of these up to 100 cows. So, yeah, when it says 21, you know, I'll just get 79. And this in here, I'll get 80. And then 79 here to make it be 100 all together. And I'll probably have a truck or something bring them in. I do have the wagon. But, yeah, that's, that's what's going on with the cows right now, folks. And with the weather, we got rain till uh what, seven o'clock tonight so i'm probably just going to fast make sure the cows are good which i think they were um they can use some water they are good and those are good so south farm needs some water they use a lot of water and i also gotta make some more total mix rations for all three and yeah as you can see here we got some more rain Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. <sighs> yeah, rain needs to stop. But this is the first day of uh, spring. And, yeah, so, uh, but ain't nothing ready to plant yet. These should turn white when we can start planting. So we have a day or two, probably, probably three or four days um, to cultivate and plow and all that good stuff but we're going to have uh, cotton which is right here we'll make sure we have cotton we're going to do corn and of course soybeans and probably some more wheat for seeds and stuff we'll get all that in the next video um, like I said I'm going to put some sheds and stuff out here um let me go to the shop real quick. Now I want to show you something when we get there. Okay, we're going to enter our gator. Try not to run over anything. I guess I need to look a little bit better, don't I? But I don't want to get wet, but I want to show you our, our new, uh, what is it, 8RX or 8X? Ah, I can't remember. A little sound effect there. Shut this off and we'll get out. And uh, this thing is uh, 8RX, yeah. 410 horsepower. Or 410 model, I should say. Uh, just like the other one. But this is our strip tail machine. Uh, if you watch my mineral farmers, uh, they have something kind of like this. And uh, what it does, it goes on top of your row there, uh, putting fertilizer down into the ground instead of spreading across it. It's pretty good. And it does have a tongue here. But what I don't understand, I, I just, I don't know. Um, the thing that they got for behind this I'm going to go in here and show y'all this real quick. Um, the trailer for it is what gets me. I think this thing is in here too. Somewhere. Or that might actually be in a dry fertilizer. Here's the trailer for it. That's the trailer. Now this right here is liquid. Must be liquid nitrogen, and these are liquid hoses. But this is what goes with this thing. Uh, let's see, we'll back up here. An additional tank to increase the capacity of your tools. But showing dry, fertilized, and lime. This is supposed to be liquid. Liquid, not dry. But hey. We got extra capacity. We are going to get this. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's see. I don't know. I'm going to up this to um, let's just say 22.4, uh, $12,000. We're going to buy it. 
and that hooks to the back of the machine that I just showed y'all. That'll be this thing right here. And uh, yeah, it's this right here. So as much ground we're going to be covering, we're going to be needing this extra tank, but we'll probably end up getting two of them. That way when this one runs out, we'll have another one go handy. So, uh, but yeah, that, that is that folks. And like I said, oh, I didn't want to come back here. I'm trying to get in. Put our little beacon on. There we go. Um, I've been using this to do the boundary of this field here instead of the four wheeler. Uh, I'll probably be getting rid of the four wheeler if I ain't done it already. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, I was, it seems like it might be on my mic. I'm getting a overload, coder overload, so I don't know uh, if y'all seen any of that or heard any of that. I'm just going to stand looking at the ground. I guess it's the rain, maybe. I don't know. But anyway, I, I think might be my mic settings I don't know something to give me a coder overload but anyway um, what I was saying was I've been using the gator to do my GPS round line, around the field here and might be getting rid of the whole wheeler if I ain't done it already I can't remember but anyway um, folks uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this I know it wasn't very much farming but it is raining right now I got to check on the cows and stuff before I fast forward time. Hopefully tomorrow will be better and we can do some tillage and stuff. But till then, folks, I appreciate you stopping by. I love each and every one of y'all. Y'all have a, a joyful uh, week, day, or whatever. Um, I, I just want to say thank you to all. I love each and all of y'all. I'm going to quit rambling because it's getting hard for me to talk, seems like. So y'all have a great day, a blessed day, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.